Well, we've had a bit of an over, overwhelming response to our honeycomb, so we're busy packing it up. Thank you all you happy viewers. Do you lucky viewers that happen to actually get our first little brew of it. So we're just putting a, sticking our lid on. We've printed up a few labels. And next thing you know, it'll be floating around the world to all sorts of places. And so everybody, hopefully it's going to get to you by Christmas. But no guarantees with Australia Post at the minute. Don't you just hate it when you lose the end of the sticky tape? When you it's even worse when you haven't got a fingernail, isn't it? And then it's like, oh my goodness. Or it's been sitting in the sun for a minute. That's never any fun. You can never find the end. And then you're going to have to go and get my glasses because I can't really see you. <laughs> I don't know. Ho ho ho, it's Christmas time. Apparently I'm not allowed to say ho 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 anymore. Because that'd be way too jolly. I wonder if we can count. We'll have to see how many there is. What did we do? We sort of sold all 15 in a couple of hours. Yeah, in about four hours. Four hours? It's unreal, isn't it? So I think honeycomb might be popular. So we're going to have to get some more of these. And then oh, I'm tipping we'll have to do another show. We found a little cool box to put them into. We'll show you that in a minute. So, bloody how good do they look? Tell you what, I might keep one for myself. Put that on my own cheese platter at Christmas time. Besides the fact that I just dropped a glass of water. Boy, what the hell, you scared me, man. You scared me. What are you, what are you doing to me? Ah, ah, give myself a bloody heart attack. Good God. What do you want about? I am just, I am just beautifying the product. Apparently, apparently I'm not allowed to put sticky tape on anything because I couldn't get it quite square. But you see, See that little lump there? See, we weren't allowed to have it. So what have we been doing for the last 15 minutes? Well, criticising me mainly. I got fired, by the way, from tape. I put the sticky tape on there, and as you saw, I was using the roll on the flat, and that was not acceptable. Without your glasses on, you can't see nothing. So this is the bit that's not allowed. And now they look cool. So John and my lovely wife have taken over the packaging department and said that I should go back to the beehives. So I'm thinking that sounds just dandy, so there you go. <laughs> Epic fail. Sticky tape fail, that was. God. Anyway, they still look bloody cool. A little bit of correction, a little bit of loving attention from the love, from the lad who's actually got eyes on. I have been sent to get my glasses before we do anything else, so I'll just pop them on so I can actually see shit. No guarantees that I get anything straight just because I can see though. But anyway, so we've got organised. We found these little cool little packets, and we thought, well, that might look really groovy, and hopefully protect the protect it a little bit on its journey. But having a little bit of fun, it's a bit of like origami. Origami, isn't it, when you've got to find the folds? My daughter Tiffany, when she was a little girl, used to be good at origami. She used to make some cool stuff. One time she made this wicked ass thing out of paper patties. No, what are those, what are those things called? Patty pans? Patty things? Anyway, it was cool. Made a big ball. 
Me, I'm flat out lucky and it's already pre-folded, so God, there'd be no hope for me. Whew. Anyway, so we thought that's a cool little box. And then I figured we'll, so you gotta fold it up the box. And then we got, got our little honeycomb stickers and made in Australia, as it would be. So that's the height of manufacturing. The girls did all the manufacturing. All we've done is put it in a package. Here's my high-tech bubble wrap cutter-upper machine. God, I tell you what. <sighs> if we last long enough, maybe we'll have to be able to get some equipment to do this shit a bit flash. <laughs> no? Shut up. No making stupid comments. Rolling, rolling, ride. Is that a copyrighted song? Surely not. That's bloody older than me. <laughs> that was from a movie, I think, wasn't it? Rawhide? I reckon it was. But anyway, shut up. Moving right along, Mr. Bushby. Man, there's a little bit of high-tech packing going on here. Or if you're wondering, these are my lovely wife's glasses. I steal everything off her, including her eyes. Mind you, these are her old ones, because she's got cooler ones now. I got one off the camera that actually went together very nicely, folks. And now look at me. I don't know. Come on, behave. I managed to get myself fired off of the sticky tape application and the sticker application. The way I'm going, I'm going to get fired off of the bloody box making. Oh, are we going to put a sticky bit on there, or what are we going to do? Yeah, I think I've made my... I think I made the thing a bit big. I'm going to have to trim off a bit. Do we stick? Do we put a bit of sticky tape on that, you think? I never thought of counting the bubbles. The lad's just had a very clever idea. He said maybe you should count the bubbles each time you cut them. I'm thinking that sounds like hard work, but perhaps I could have a piece of wood that was the right size. Or I could be like at the hardware shop when they have a have a jolly line on the floor where they know how long the chain is. Well, maybe you just could be not lazy about it. Well, don't be too bloody drastic. Go on, lazy. I'm not lazy, am I? I'm just bloody rough. <laughs> anyway, here we go. No, no. You're not going to get that one. This might be the next one. <laughs> This is the prototype. <laughs> Packing 101. <laughs> Good God. And you reckon I can't put a bit of sticky tape on it? That's all right, I'll take over from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's the boxes from. Yeah, yeah. It's not the person making the, the manufacturing. We're getting ready to send some of this honeycomb off, which is kind of groovy. It's been a very good response to that, as we've already said. Uh, we're just packaging it up and hopefully it can make it across the universe. Well, not the universe, not quite that clever yet. <laughs> I'll probably be dead before it's a universe transport, won't I? But anyway, across the world <laughs> to all the people that want to get some honeycomb on their plate for Christmas, I'm guessing. So here it comes. I think we might get some fragile tape when we get to the post office too. Because um, don't get trodden on on the way there. Oh, that would be a bit bloody grim, wouldn't it? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Feel a bit like Santa Claus. I'm not quite as clever as Santa Claus though. My sleigh's a bit slow. <laughs> We got our boxes empty. Young Shirley's got us sorted out. So we're on our way to send some honeycomb to you for Christmas. And we're just hoping that you have a beautiful Merry Christmas and give your family a big hug from me. Good on you, bye. <laughs>